45 metres out for the first score of the day. It's taken seven minutes, but Clark works it back from right to left, and it has the legs. Intercepted by Cleary. He's a good ball user, chips it short, just travelled the required meterage to Crofts. Kicks outside the defensive 50. Crofts from 45 metres out. Kick on the way. It's sublime. Straight through the centre, and the Dogs have their second. Reeves it. Did well. Got the hand pass away. Marshall's kick to the outer side is a good one. They can traverse through the outer side. Here's Smiley with a bounce. Deep kick towards Gross, who takes it on the 50. Open 50 beckons. Gross can wheel onto the right foot. Sets it up towards the hot spot. Welsh was going back with the flight. There might have been an infringement here. Contributed well against Coburg a couple of weeks ago. This for the Academy's first goal of the game. 30 out directly in front, and he steers it through. Great kick, Harvey Langford. Coming out of the Bendigo Pioneers. Had a goal against Coburg in their last Academy game, and got a bit of momentum now. Finno Sullivan, who's been fantastic. A nice sweeping handle there to Moraes. Trying to find a target inside Ford 50. A fantastic diving mark there. Giving that off to his teammate. Intravaglia, who's dangerous ball back into the goal square. He's going to turn that one over. Phoenix Spicer. He's done that twice now. Just outside the 50 metre arc. It drifts towards the left. They converge, and the mark has been plucked out of nowhere by Lockie Smith. Can he finish it off with a goal? A lovely mark followed by a conventional goal, and the Dogs continue to add to their lead. Darms. Goes inside and they found a target unopposed. It'll be Jordan Croft here with the shot in. They've been accurate all day. It was a tough shot and he made it look easy. Footscray with a fantastic start here. Thrown back in here. First two goals of this corner going the way of Footscray. Academy doing all the defending. Sanders with the handball there to Clark. He'll have the shot from the boundary line. He likes it. It was a bit of a late whistle. Trainer, he might just launch this one from about 50 metres out as the kick comes in. It's got the journey. It actually came off the umpire's boot as Day Wicks will take the kick with a well-weighted ball and at full stretch. Was Wales taking the mark? That was an important one because they've got players open now. Do the academy, the kick wasn't his greatest work. They do have the numbers here, but first out at our foot scrape. Now through Oscar Baker, run himself into a bit of trouble with the long sweeping handball there to Bianco. He'll take a bounce through the middle of the ground and they can all line up now. Can foot scrape and eventually Charlie Clark here for foot scrape. Looking for his third goal of the morning here. Pretty much straight in front, 45 metres out. Don't think he's got the journey. He needs to be killed over the line. It just falls there. And in the end, it's a goal. there at the fall of it was Smith. And it is going to be a goal. Lachlan Smith. In time, he's got Ashcroft streaming past here. He's now the leading ball getter on this ground. Wants to go over the top here to Walsh, who had a moment about five minutes ago to try find a target inside forward 50. He's going to play on with a booming ball inside. They've worked out a lovely kick there. So coming out of the GWV Rebels is Layla and the kick comes in. The umpire just watches that one sail over his head. Not far away from half time here at the Witten Oval. Smith delicately taps it down. And it's Jagger Smith with a little clearance four for the academy. Can they snag a couple of goals oh. together? The pirouette from Jagger Smith was so absolutely superb. Chips it inside the 50 oh. and a good kick as well. And he kicked the academy's second goal in a minute. 40 out directly in front. Deliberate approach. Kick on the way is right through the centre. Shanahan with a major. And the academy have two goals within the space of a minute. Back to Benendo. Just lost his footing. Gives it back. With the snapping shot in towards the pocket. And strong hands overhead there. So it'll be Charlie Clark looking for goal number three. In the first of the second half of the Dogs makes no mistake in front of the big sticks. Clark's got three and Footscray off to the perfect start once again. Nick Spicer, 53 out, goes straight to the man on the mark. Smiley again, gives the hand pass off. Gross into the path of Ashcroft. It bounces obligingly for him. Langford over the top, sweeps the hand pass out wide. Mentha combines with Lombard. Open 50, finds Welsh on his own, takes the mark on the chest. Tyler Welsh, 43 metres out, kick on the way. There's no doubt about it. He's put it through for his first. Holter, who's had a lovely game, will launch this one from 55 under the left, in towards the goal square. They'll fly. Travaglia brought it to ground under a lot of pressure now. Ooh. Really need to rush that one through. Is he going to be called holding the ball? Yes, he will. Craig Peters, the skipper. He puts it through as well towards the midfield. Smiley with the hand pass. Marshall back to Smiley, confronted. Did well with the fend-off on Darms and oh. a double fend-off off Clark. It's a strong player, isn't he? Smiley gives it off. 
Vision on the kick, though. Gross, he'll take a running bounce. Coming out of defensive 50. Through the corridor he goes. We've got some good numbers here. And Strong, in the end, was the academy. Now they've got a player open. Running into an open goal here. And sending that one through is Jaeger Smith. Through Sanders. Goes through hand now. He can take a running shot in from about 35 on the boundary in towards goal and able to squeeze that one through that's one of his assets 57 meters out from goal looks towards full forward taking the mark is Gardner who goes back with the flight and he can line up from almost point-blank range looks like he's going to go around the corner as well based off his body language Ryan Gardner Around he goes, and he pops it through for the Dogs. They string a couple together, and that margin out to 35 points. Second, uh, third term, and now Bianco's racking them up for Footscray as well. This one might be picked off. Going back was Ben Camparelli. Camparelli wrapped up. That's of the Bim variety. Oh, champion did well. Very slick, like an eel. He slipped through, and now away go the Academy. Langford, it's a high ball. Footscray have got the numbers and the height, and able to take it pretty easily in the end, was bustling up. The umpire's just going to call this one back. Oh. It's going to be a blocking free kick going the way of the academy. I believe that's going to be Shanahan. Get another one here for the academy after the 50-metre penalty was rewarded. Shanahan right in front of the goals on the three-quarter time siren. Gets another one here for the academy. Who just pegged that score back ever so slightly. And falls out here to Bedendo. Who can snap this one through or set it up into the goal square. And Mark there from Gardner into the goal square and he'll send through his second goal here for the Dogs. <laughs> the tall forwards of Footscray do what they've been doing all day long oh. and in the end it was unopposed and way too easy. Originally a Murray Bush Ranger comes in with the set shot. He had a shot moments ago that didn't quite go through. That one straight through the middle and Footscray continue to push away. Well, comes back to Smiley. He's been good in defence today, particularly in the second half. Pops it up, oh. O'Sullivan. Good mark going back with the flight. He's had not a bad day, Gardner. Two goals, ten disposals. Looking for his third here from about 48 metres out. It's a lovely looking ball straight through the middle and Footscray continue their accurate kicking form. So Craig Peters to take Footscray to triple digits here at Witten Oval. It was a lovely kick of the ball and Footscray get their fourth of the quarter.